well, we're the smartest cat in Alan's stage. <laughs> Libby, close the remarks. Okay, guys, I thought this was really fun, but I'm actually already five minutes late to river dancing, so bye. <laughs> <laughs> of the reserve experience. Community, dedication, passion, academics, and once again, diversity. The rep this year is a little different. As you already saw, we added a cold open. And because you guys didn't like the guest segment last year, we decided to cut that out too. Besides, last time we had a guest on the show, things just didn't really work out. <laughs> we asked this year one to come out. <laughs> Buckle up, everybody. Here are this year's top WRA stories. This past winter break, the dining hall saw even more renovations. We got three panini presses, menus on the TV, exhibition during dinner time, and I didn't think it was possible, Noah, but Kevin is now three times as loud. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Here's some science for you. Researchers have recently discovered that parts of the ocean can reach as deep as 13,000 meters. Crazy. That's almost as deep as Peter Rong's crisp, sexy voice. <laughs> Incredibly sexy indeed, Noah. Thank you. The No Bad Idea Friday policy was introduced by Dr. Kent this fall to the support of many students. Because of this, the administration was forced to accept the idea of Taco Bell Tuesdays, subsequently destroying the Seymour Hall bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> Truly tragic, Henry. Recently, Mr. C.J. Pollock was hired as WRA's newest lacrosse coach. He'll have big shoes to fill, though, as last year's lacrosse team had a record-breaking season of three wins and 17 losses. <laughs> I have no idea why they have a new coach. <laughs> this year's senior class has seen an unheard of matriculation, with acceptances like Sarah Lasky to Harvard, Rainwood to Stanford, and our very own Noah Luch to Princeton. Oh, and don't forget, Walker, Sebastian, and Olivia got into Vanderbilt, Noah Luch got into Princeton, there were a few <laughs> Chicago admissions, and oh yeah, Noah Luch got into Princeton. <laughs> He got into Princeton. <laughs> Speaking of Noah, he's our next correspondent to tell us about some crazy new happenings here at Reserve. Come on down, my friend. Noah Lucha. Hey guys, great to be here. Noah, you look well. Henry, good to see you. Good to see you too, Noah. So, you're here to talk to us about some changes at Reserve? That I am, Noah. With the new change in administration at Reserve, we have seen a trend of students being, on average, better off. This caused several changes in Reserve's infrastructure, which I think we have all noticed. Yeah, certainly. I mean, we're all excited to see these new changes. So what are you here to talk about? Well, there are a lot. Uh, to begin with, student participation activities have gone up. 
The new Student Listener Program is an optimistic start to what I think could be something beautiful in reserves history. And of course, uh, the, um, uh, uh, wow, gets into Princeton and doesn't even memorize his lines. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I guess I just get nervous in front of someone as attractive as you. Uh, anyway, no, why don't you continue with your report? Uh, well, uh, yeah, there's uh, uh, big changes coming to, uh, uh, coming to reserves food. Yeah, a recent study has shown that there are actually positive health benefits to junk food. As a result, the dining hall staff has decided to cook up a few slices of Noah Fredo Sweeney's fat cakes in the Dude. dining hall. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what we had in the script. No, 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 it's no, no, it's just joking around, man. Just continue. Fine, fine. What, whatever. Well, yeah, uh, along with the changes in the dining hall, uh, new furniture in Seymour is both a beautiful addition to the school and a new place to put all those backpacks. <laughs> <laughs> Additionally, the, di the dress code has been updated to be more lenient. Now all the student body can hope for is to see Noah Fredo Sweeney's fat listening cheeks stride across the lawns while I What are you doing? Taking this seriously. Yeah, no, come on. Why are you talking to you? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm ready to take this seriously. Seriously, guys, the school is getting better. There are so many new changes, so many new faces, so many chances to make people smile. For instance, the cool morning meeting questions you guys come up with. You, you like those? Yeah, man, they're cool. I actually had a few ideas myself. A oh, sick way on us. Okay, how about, um, uh, which dorm would make for the best hotel? Yeah, yeah. Uh, or, or on a scale of one to ten, uh, how scrumptious are we so free of cleaning to listen to the butter? Now, hold on. <laughs> I'm actually pretty interested in the results. First to left, send to right. Personally, I would give them a 12. <laughs> See left, he's a 13. Say right, he's an 11. That is so demeaning. Really, Luch? I'd say they're at least a 14. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the Francis is the You, you need to sit, sit down. What? It does not work. You, you really think you're really, really, funny? Really, you really wow. Think you wow, you come on, on this show. Oh, really? Oh, oh, you oh, oh, so so wow, cool. You've oh, oh, been on a scene oh, 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 You were told. Sure, sure, sure. No one really knows what he 
does that. <laughs> All right, that's been our new employee update. <laughs> this year, WRA hired a company to create an informational pamphlet for prospective students at Reserve. In the athletic page, the headline was Honor, Sweat, and Joy. Interestingly enough, that's how most people would describe Ben Sindel eating mac and cheesyology. <laughs> well, that's how I would describe him too, Noah. <laughs> this year, according to Niche.com, but not the banners in the Mac, WRA has fallen in rankings to Hawken for best private school in Ohio. I think it's no coincidence that when BJ Sastry leaves Hawken and comes here, we <laughs> fall <the> second. <laughs> Such a shame, Henry. Such a shame. Recently, the Smithsonian National Zoo made headlines when they incubated an Etruscan shrew the mammal with the smallest brain. So I guess it was no surprise that they named this creature Mikey Mylot. <laughs> Life of Reserve isn't always about being on campus. In fact, going to school here can often seem like you're being dragged through the mud. Of course, one of Paige Botnar is here to tell us about that. Paige, everybody, come on down.
they should have done was they should have taken me to get my sash and my crown. Instead, they took me to the hospital. <laughs> Rude. So, you went to the hospital and you didn't get your sash and crown. Never did. Well, lucky for you, Paige. Here at The Wrap, we're all about making dreams come true. <laughs> so when we heard your story, we knew there was a lot of Jeffrey, why don't you bring out the sash? <laughs> Just kidding, Paige, we didn't get yeah, out. <laughs> uh, How does that make you feel, Paige? <laughs> Thank you very much, Paige. Last sit-down lunch, many of the senior boys dressed up as cupids and ran through the Ellsworth cables delivering crushograms to all of their fellow students. There was some controversy, however, as many of the faculty had a problem with many of their outfits. Hmm. Apparently, they said that James Doe just wasn't showing off enough inner thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Friday thought, Noah. Here's another. According to WRA website, to the WRA website, 92% of faculty at Reserve have advanced degrees. Upon further investigation, though, we found that approximately 63% of those belong to Mr. O'Sullivan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting statistic. Yeah. Legendary senior Colin North made headlines recently when he accomplished what mere mortal WRA students could only dream of. Achieving the trifecta of conditioning seasons at reserve. <laughs> but for those of you who think that conditioning is a joke, think again. Just look at what all that lifting has done to Colin's arms. <laughs> the change in exam schedule has had mixed reviews this year, with many asking what prompted the shifting of a smattering of, of tests over a month long period. I think of it this way, Noah. On one hand, it, was confu it confused all the teachers and students, and no one liked it. And finally, <laughs> Chris and Cordell Livingston, basketball prodigies, joined the school recently as day students, bringing a newfound energy to the school. I don't know, though. I think WRA took it a little too far when they changed their Instagram username to whois.westernreserve.com. <laughs> Stick to while we had the commercial. Thank you. 
it just doesn't work. My dog is happy. That's us, buddy. He's a little cat. Well, just know that in his final moments, this gets lucky until the very end. At least you just feel better. How did you know his name? I was the one who killed him. <laughs> Thank you. 
best friend. Who, interestingly enough, I was eating lunch with earlier today. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, be joyful, not hungry. Have a great day, everyone! <laughs>
name is Tom Gove. I am the head of security here at Western Reserve Academy, and I take my job very seriously. <laughs> As a cop on the mean streets of Detroit, so I am well prepared for these hooligans to be taking chocolate muffins from the bookstore. <laughs> Just look at me. <laughs> hey! You! What are you doing to leave that bad man in the middle of my hallway? I want good men to those bats! <laughs> Have a good night, and that's a wrap. <laughs>